All right, so we're back in the garage. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. I'm really behind, but I've got a new opener to show you guys today. So if you come over here, look at the rail. Yeah, something looks a little different over here. So I just rigged up this Frankenstein setup. I'll show you the other end in a second, but looking at the rail, it's a Lanier. These things, these are the older three button linear remotes. Fall it down to the LDO 50. Um, yeah. So I just saw this and I thought, hey, why not? Just thought I'd get it just to screw around with it and whatnot. But it is an LDO 50, it's not an LDO 33. Right there. Now, yes, so. I was able to get this to work, but it's a little, it's a little unstable because of this end, but it's not running a door, so I'm not really worried about it, but hey, it works. Now, looking behind the light cover, uh, I don't know how to find dates, but looking behind the light cover, the serial number says says the first four digits are 2008 so th that sounds about right for this machine because the older ones have that lightning bolt on the side of the case so that sounds about right so i'm just gonna go with 2008 but yeah so here's some other miscellaneous stuff i got this angle iron got i don't know what happened to that uh, but in here, I have the wall button for it being an older one. It uh, doesn't say linear on it. I think the also I think the color of the wall button is just a it's a little bit lighter. Yeah, got that and sensors, wiring, whatnot. I got this with it. This this did not come with it. This came with the opener that replaced it, but this is a beam up door bracket. So I don't know what in the world. It's really, I don't know what to say about that. Um, yeah, all that stuff. And I guess, well, you know what? We'll just go ahead and uh, we'll give it a run. Come over here and I'll grab one of the remotes. Let's see here. All right. Here we go. Yes, it is pretty loud and it does grind. I uh, kind of expected that since it's an LDO 50, but oh, whatever. Go ahead and run that back down. That's actually very grindy on the way down. Now, for being an older one, as you can see, normally the turnbuckle would be on the other side of the rail by the trolley, but in this case it's not. Since it's an older one, it's on the other side, which for this setup I like because it's easier for me to get to because then I'd have to go over there and then, yeah, that'd be a pain, but yeah, so it's kind of strange because usually I'm used to seeing it on the other side, but eh, whatever. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it.